There are several fires at Blackwater National Wildlife Refuge that were set intentionally. No one will be charged with arson, and we're told the environment gets the reward. The main focus in burning marsh grass is um, the ability to cycle nutrients in the in that habitat, which ultimately allows the burnt grass to come back stronger and healthier. Eric Kroner and his team are on land and on boats to access areas tougher to reach. They're called prescribed burns. Mother Nature has to dish out the right prescription to maintain control of the fire. When it comes to burning marsh, uh, we like strong winds because the fuel is literally on top of water. Um, so it, it you have to have a strong wind in order to push it across the grass. How do you make sure your fire doesn't grow out of control? We light the fire in a, direct, in, in a location that we know that the wind is going to push it. They have priority areas. Some of them are near private homes and property next to Eagle Nest. The Marshmaster is one tool. It's a tank that can drive over marsh and not get stuck. It can also float. We'll light it and it'll literally be lit in, in, in a minute. It burns down, there is nothing left. It consumes everything that's gonna consume and then it runs into the water. They have about 1,700 acres they're trying to burn on Blackwater this year, something that has happened for many years. Whoever is managing it at the time has been burning it. And so that goes back to um, Native American encampments. They, they burnt the marsh. Um, early settlement periods, they burnt the marsh, and we're just kind of keeping that that uh, history going. Have you seen the benefits of these prescribed fires? There are, have there been several um, studies that have shown that um, annual burning of the marsh can help um, maintain its position with within the ecosystem. So the stronger those roots are, the more likely that that marsh will stay where it's at. They started the fire, but Kroner says if you see it, know they have control and it burns to better the environment. For Chesapeake Bay Media's Bay Bulletin, I'm Cheryl Costello.